In this video, I'd like to walk you through the initial steps to set up WebEx Calling for an organization. First, I will walk you through some WebEx Calling service settings. Then you will see how to create a location and select the PSTN provider for a location. Next, I will show you some basic settings which are required to establish calling for users in that location. And this video will then close with a quick review of how to later change the address details of an existing location. First, I have to accept the terms of service, and then I quickly acknowledge these two pop-ups, which offer guided tours of the Control Hub Admin GUI. If this is the first time you're logging in, then I highly recommend to actually review this information. For the purpose of this video, I skip and instead move right to the initial setup of WebEx Calling. For the initial setup, I select the Calling tab from the left and then move on to the Service Settings tab within Calling. The first thing to review is the configuration for internal dialing. After selecting the Edit option, I have to acknowledge a warning indicating that already provisioned phones need to be restarted after changing the dial plan customization. The reason is that dial rules according to the dial plan customization are loaded by the phones during the startup sequence. In the internal dialing section, we can define the routing prefix length and steering digit for the routing prefix. These two settings are required if there are multiple locations in your setup and you want to implement abbreviated inter-site dialing between locations. The routing prefix length includes the steering digit, so if you want to implement abbreviated inter-site dialing with three-digit site codes, you want to set the routing prefix length to four, three-digit site code plus one steering digit. The last setting in this section defines the length of an extension within a location. With the settings shown here, abbreviated inter-site dialing requires eight dial digits, one steering digit, three digits for the side codes, followed by four digits for the extension, in total eight digits. The next two settings on the service settings page control the call routing logic for calls routed between on-premises call controls and WebEx calling. If you don't plan to use any trunks or local gateways to interconnect WebEx calling with an on-premises call control, then you can leave these values as they are. Else, you definitely want to set the unknown number handling parameter to standard behavior. The other option is only there for backward compatibility for early WebEx calling deployments and for new deployments should be avoided. The correct setting for the caller ID format for calls from and to on-premises parameter depends on the requirements of the BX you are connecting to via a trunk. Changes within this section need to be explicitly saved. Next, you will want to review the settings for online routing for WebEx meetings calls and the voicemail settings, followed by the emergency call settings for the Red Sky integration for US locations. The Red Sky setup is not covered in this video. To add a new location, you need to select Calling on the left and then in the Locations tab, click on Add Location. Then details like the location name, country, and the full address of the location have to be entered. In addition to the address details, also the languages for the location, both announcements and email language, and the time zone for the location have to be set. After hitting Save, you can then decide whether you want to set the PSTN connection for the new location right away, or configure the PSTN choice at a later time. Here I selected the option to immediately select the PSTN choice for the location. There are three options, Cisco Calling Plan, Cloud Connected PSTN, and Premises Based PSTN, also known as Bring Your Own PSTN or Carrier. While the first two options are Cloud PSTN options, the last option enables you to connect WebEx Calling to an existing on-premises PSTN connection via an over-the-top trunk to an on-premises local gateway. In this video, I will not discuss the different PSTN options in depth. If you, for example, now select Cloud Connected PSTN, then this gets you to a screen where you can then choose any of the Cloud Connected PSTN providers available for the given WebEx calling region and country. After selecting a Cloud Connected PSTN provider, then you can immediately add or request numbers. Number management is not the focus of this demo, and thus this step is skipped here. After you added numbers to WebEx Calling for your new location, depending on your choice of PSTN, 
you now have to apply some basic settings to finish the preparation of the location. First, we have to set the main number of the location, because without that number being set, no calls can be made to and from any users within the location. You can simply select the right arrow next to main number and then pick the desired main number from the drop-down and hit Save. Back in the Location Overview, we then need to configure the internal tiling settings. Here, we configure the location routing prefix in line with the format we configured in the global calling settings. In my case, this requires a unique four-digit routing prefix starting with 8. Next, under external dialing, we can configure the outside access code for this location. A typical choice in the US is outside access code 9. To later edit the initially configured name or address of a location, you can open the location details and then click the pencil icon next to the location name. This opens the page with location name and address. Further information can be found at these locations. Thanks for watching.